After a hard-fought campaign, or should I say campaigns, it, it is my honor to utter the four most powerful words ever spoken in a democracy. The people have spoken. There are those who would look at the outcome of this race and say that there's no voter suppression in Georgia. Let me be clear. Just because people endured long lines that wrapped around buildings some blocks long, just because they endured the rain and the cold and all kinds of tricks in order to vote, doesn't mean that voter suppression does not exist. It simply means that you, the people, have decided that your voices will not be silenced. Let us not forget, let us not forget that when we entered this runoff, a vestige of the ugly side of our complicated American story, state officials said that we couldn't vote on Saturday. But we sued them and we won. But here's my promise to you, I will walk with you even as I work for you. Because, because here is what I've learned as a pastor. You can't lead the people unless you love the people. You can't love the people unless you know the people, and you can't know the people unless you walk among the people. You, you cannot serve me if you cannot see me. And so during these difficult days, even as I work on specific public policy proposals and I offer bills and work with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, to get those bills passed. I just want you to know that I see you. Let's dance because we deserve it. But tomorrow we go back down into the valley to do the work. I know that the days are still difficult. The times are dark, but the light, the scripture says, shines in the darkness and the darkness overcometh it not. I'm ready to keep doing this work. I can hear my dad of blessed memory say, get up, get dressed, put your shoes on, get ready. Are you ready, Georgia? I'm ready. Stand up for workers, to stand up for women, to stand up for our children. I'm ready to build a stronger Georgia. God bless you. Keep the faith and keep looking up.